On the last Sunday of 2019, a gunman opened fire during a church service at the West Freeway Church of Christ in Texas. Preliminary reports said that he entered the church and sat down with parishioners. He got up from that position, pulled out a shotgun, and fired it at a parishioner. That parishioner is deceased. There was a security team inside the church and they eliminated the threat. Two people were killed before the gunman was shot dead by church security. This church had its own security team. Um, they were well trained, well trained. The heroism today is unparalleled. There were also several other gun rampages this year. 22 people were killed at a Walmart store in August in El Paso, Texas, in a racially motivated attack against Hispanics. In May, in Virginia Beach, Virginia, a former employee of the local government shot and murdered 12 people in the office, hours after mailing his resignation letter. Nine people were killed in mass shootings in Dayton, Ohio, and seven in Odessa and Midland, Texas as well. While it's not the highest year in terms of death tolls, it is the highest number on record for mass killings, which is defined as four or more people being killed, including the assailants. According to a database compiled by the Associated Press, USA Today, and Northeastern University, there were 41 recorded incidents and a total of 211 deaths. Shootings make up 33 of the 41 cases. Though the gun debate in Washington rages, U.S. lawmakers have failed to pass stricter gun control measures. President Trump has also rolled back his pledge for serious discussions to be held on background checks for gun owners. Is laid on the table. But Congress did earmark $25 million in federal funding for gun violence research for the first time in 24 years, which could offer some insight into the problem and possible solutions. Courtney Keeley, TRT World, Washington.